remember how we chose players for the first one, but this is by invitation only. Uh, all right, both players are ready. So here we go, ZVP on Gorky Island 1.0. And in the top right position, spawning as the orange Zerg, we have we have none other than LRM Cole, the Wonder Kid from Germany. Uh, yes, I believe it is a best of one. And in the bottom left, as the green Protoss, <coughs> asking whether it's a best of one or best of three, is Desakwe. That's right. This is not this is not the Homer on the keyboard. It is it is pronounced Desakwe. Single limb. So, letting Desakwe know what's up. Uh, while nothing happens. I mean, it's an island map, guys. So, you know, uh, not going to see anything crazy right off the bat. No, no four pool in action. No proxies. Um, although apparently, in the last in the last tournament, someone cannon rushed on this map. Like, it was a PVT, and the Protoss dropped on this back expo and just like cannon or a Terran. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't cast that match live, but that looked quite fun. It's in the it's in the write-up, actually, I believe. So, letting game know that the lag is fine. We are going into the game. Now, notice uh, Cole going for gas first. That's actually quite standard on island maps. I believe as Protoss, you also want to do that. You can go pile on gas and then gateway. Uh, that's That's, of course never seen on regular maps, but uh, but on island maps I think that's actually a correct play because you're really stuck on one base for so long. Uh, you want to grab that extra gas. Um, and if you... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I was trying to talk about the map. Gorky Island! Gorky Island uh, is actually not... Well, okay, so you have your main base which is on an island. You have this uh, expansion behind your main, which is like another island. But then the rest of the map is all connected by ground. So you have like four... Well, I guess technically five expansions in the middle of the map. Um, 12 o'clock, 3, 6, and 9. And then you have like a middle base that's kind of like on Fighting Spirit. It's got like a weird layout. So it's not like a... Well, I guess it's kind of a base. Anyway, uh, Sakui just now mining gas, getting his uh, summon X core. I wish I... C uh, maybe I can find a picture of the map. I'm going to go on good old Team Liquid. Um, since Since we're just chilling. Just chilling. Oh, do I have to look in like TLPD? Gorky, Gorky Island. Is that how this works? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm a noob. I'm a noob. I'm a noob at Team Liquid. So, uh, Cole's overloads are going around, but they are cross map. Not gonna see anything. Uh, opting for a fast lair. I'm interested if uh, he's gonna go for. Spire, or is just gonna just gonna get drop first. Um, I mean, Cole, of course, <clears throat> very well known for his Muta play. Uh, two hatch Muta man. That's what brought him to the top. At, at one point, he just like only two hatch muted. That was like the only build he could do. That's, I think that's actually why he lost in the uh, in the TSL too. He just kept two hatch muting, and then Phoenix. I think it was was it Phoenix or was it? No, it wasn't. No, I think it was Phoenix. I think it was Phoenix who just like two racks him, and then Cole's just like, "Oh, you're not one racks FEing." Well, that sucks, and then he lost. But uh, it looks like a Stargate is going down, and it's probably plus one air weapons from the Sakwe. Oh, I should add though that Cole has uh, has of course branched out a lot more from his early his early pure muta days. Um, he actually streamed a little while ago, around the time of ISL one. He was streaming quite a bit. And uh, he had some pretty cool play. Still revolving quite heavily around Mutas, though. Like, uh, uh, he goes for the standard 3-hatch Spire, but he doesn't go for the 5-hatch Hydra follow-up. He actually just goes Mutas. So he just basically he goes 3-hatch Muta in ZVP. And he, like, Sim City's hardcore with a million Sunkins, so that when the Protoss goes for a Zealot counterattack, it just doesn't do anything. Um, so it's kind of a, a funky style. What is this? Is a Robo? No, it's a Forge. Okay, that's interesting. Um, opting for the Forge... Perhaps just assuming that Cole will go for these Mutas. Uh, he's hiding, his, or not really hiding, he's throwing it down here because he's going to group it with his uh, his Mutas later for stacking. So it will, of course, be Mutas. I did click on the Spire before, but I don't think I mentioned it. And one cannon going down, that's uh, a little bit early. But possibly he's just not sure about the timings, given that uh, 
it's it's going to be completely non-standard timings on this island map. I mean, he's going one base, one base spire, so you know. Interestingly, Cole also getting an evolution chamber. So both players playing uh, kind of scared of each other's air here. Sockley getting the cannon in his mineral line, and uh, and Cole getting a spore, or he will get a spore soon. He's whole positioning this one. I don't know if that's a good idea. Obviously, it was going to die either way, but uh, I think you can buy a couple more seconds if you run them. Oh man, I don't. Oh dude, I hope he's morphing like some scourge right now. Okay, looks like the Sockley's going to run away with uh, two Overlord kills. Oh, it looks like three actually, because he got one at his main. So. Three Obi kills and hasn't lost anything yet. The Scourge are out, but uh, the cannon at the main will deter them. As long as the Sakura is paying attention. And looks like Cole is getting ready to load up his Overlord. At least I hope that's what that's for. No, looks like... Okay, looks like it is. He just had three over there for whatever reason. So he will be taking this back expansion. This is like another island. It's an island in the island. Oh, losing a Scourge. Uh, kind of unnecessary. Where are the Corsairs, actually? Oh, there they are. And the Robo is down. Fantastic. Now, why why is someone linking League of Legends in my in my chat? That's that's kind of weird. Oh, I'm sorry. This is true. I didn't change the colors. Aha! Thank you. I don't know why I forgot about that. It's all right. I'm getting warmed up. I'm getting warmed up. This is like, this is like, you know, you know, when when you play the first game of the day, you know, like you mess up your split, you build your pylon late. It's like all bad. You know, that's kind of how it is on the cast. You know, I'm I'm not doing the colors right. I'm stammering. I don't have Wikipedia open, so I can't show you the maps. But it'll get better, I promise. I heard something load up. I guess he's gonna transfer drones. Man, those overlords are slow. Uh, go go go! Yeah. All right. What's coming? Four scourge, just chilling. Interestingly, okay. There's a muta. There's two mutas. Oh, he actually has it rallied here. No wonder there were three drones here earlier. I don't know why he has a hatchery rallied there. That's... Is it this hatchery? Okay, it looks like this hatchery is rallied over here, and then like this hatchery is rallied to the spore. That's peculiar. Uh, meanwhile, oh, oh, he's gonna get the shuttle! Is he gonna get the shuttle? No! The Sockway pays attention. Spots it. He, uh, one of the Scourge does land, though. But, uh, this is a, a significant number. That's like six plus one Sarahs. That will take down a large number of Scourge and or Mutas. Looks like another one hit, though. And, ooh, look at this. The Sockway using the low ground pylon to, uh, to cannon up here. By the way, he also trapped this probe. He probably did that to stack his Corsairs, but this is actually unnecessary because since it's an island map, you can just have like a random probe and it can't leave the base, so you can keep stacking. Although I guess with this method, it's easier to stack within your main. So like if you're flying around inside your main, you can uh, you can keep stacking. Whereas if you use a if you use a loose probe, it's uh, it's it's more difficult. Anyway, it's like uh, both players massing out. I wonder if Cole got plus one carapace. Oh, look at that! Did you guys see that? Just as I said it, plus one carapace finishes. Oh, I'm good. Uh, we have a four zealot drop. That's interesting. Uh, there's actually there's no ground units here for Cole. All he's got are Scourge and Muta. So uh, unless he can deal with all these Corsairs right now, the zealots will do insane amounts of damage. All the Scourge go down. The Spore is being targeted, and the Mutas. Cole's running around with the Mutas. He can't engage. He doesn't have enough Mutas yet. There's too many Corsairs. Oh man, he's not separating very well. Oh no, this could be the end of Cole. Cole is losing all his mutas. GG! Sakwe takes out Cole in round one, and that is it. Cole has been eliminated from the tournament in the first round. It is only a best of one. So the crowd favorite has been knocked out of the tournament uh, by Desakwe. Oh, 